Hello, my friends, and welcome back to yet another uh, legendary Iron Man Army of Two run. My name is Saiken, and this is going to be an attempt to beat the game on the highest difficulty with only two soldiers' permission. It's the sixth time that we are defending our Avenger. This time, however, the first time that we are doing it uh, not against a chosen one, but we have ordinarily been taken down. That's interesting because the mission will play out a little bit different. Um, we are having uh, the signal a beacon back here, a couple of mutants and apparently a captain, no that's a stun lancer, uh, protecting it. Uh, there will be way more enemies that are coming in our direction um, and we actually need to defend. Uh, we got the finest of the fine, uh, uh, fine here, Remen, uh, um, together with it's lagging quite a bit, uh, together uh, with Hogbite. We do have Zirkim and we do have Roby. So the best of the best here, two squads uh, with uh, two uh, soldiers each. I am going to say that this here is probably going to be one of uh, the more difficult um, setups, to be honest. I'm not 100% sure how we are going to, although we do have four towers, so I probably shouldn't say that. So I was doubting if we can deal enough damage, but then I learned, um, I forgot for a second, we have four super heavy uh, towers, so this mission is going to be a piece of cake. I retract my opinion, uh, this is actually going to be a walk in the park. So let's do an overwatch. I'm not sure we probably will get some sort of uh, reinforcements. If that is the case, I'll just try to hunker them down. I think that's the easiest way. All right. Seems like the first round without any enemy contact. But there is the first additional soldier. Dark Tower Noxus, I think you wanted to take a position. position here and take a good old hunker down. Awesome. Good job, Dark Tower. Well done. Keep it going, buddy. In the meantime, let's see if we can uh, actually pull a peg or two. I'm pretty sure that since it's such a small map, we are actually going to end up with uh, quite a bit of enemies. Oh wow, it's lagging quite hard. That's always a sign that there are a lot of enemies. Pack of Chrysalids is approaching us. I apologize in advance for the very poor frame rate, but it's not even my computer this time. It seems that there is an incredible amount of enemies here. Okay, so we're looking at six enemies. Uh, let's soften them up with a grenade, shall we? Okay. Grenade and high, high ground, is that a thing? think that uh, that'll work. All right, Salvo. Very nice, that at least clears our line of sight. Let's make sure we're getting uh, death from above. Let's see what the towers can do. Softening up this Berserk is would be a good idea. Oh, very well. Uh, 
a lot of 80% shots that are surprisingly missing. <laughs> okay. There we go. Good job. Perfect. Good old saturation fire is probably even going to take out the shield bearer because the car is going to explode on top of it. All right, shield bearer is down to one HP. Good enough. Okay, so yeah, I think we can do that. Let's run and gun. Moving up here. Oh, apparently we've pulled another pack. We've got here. Well, hello there. By the way, why do we have a ridiculous plasma grenade in here? Okay, I'm not sure. I was under the impression I would uh, I have um, equipped them properly. Apparently, that's not the case. Good. So let's move over here. The Icarus suit is such an incredible movement tool. I love it. Okay, let's use a protocol to give Renvin Solid cover and also threat assessment. If we were to haywire protocol, that'll be 50 50 chance that we're actually taking the mech over. Barely missed that. We can still kill it though. I'm not even sweating it. If we were to run in, that would probably cause a lot of issues because I suspect there are additional teams here and I really don't want to trigger another one. <clears throat> However, we can very much send over a protocol. And make sure that we are killing the enemies here. It's dead. It has to be dead. Oh, 
All right, so in terms of hits, I think rapid fire here to kill him would probably be a good idea. The other option is to go for the mech. It's a little bit further off and probably takes uh, more time to kill it. Threadstorm cannon cannot kill it. problem with leaving the mac alive is it will have a chance to use its um, rockets. The rockets will hit someone on the uh, rooftop here and that'll just generally suck. So I don't want to take any damage. The correct play here is to rapid fire and kill the mech. I would want to move in further, but it seems risky, so instead... Let's position ourselves here. That'll trigger Bladestorm for anyone who wants to go on top of the roof. Yeah, and we're moving over here. Hawkbite can go in next turn. No problem. Nice little shot for mind control. Fortunately, we're theoretically mind controllable. There's the Blade Master damage I was talking about, and we're half untouchable, so that's not a problem. Just positioning ourselves at the edge here for a bit of a cleanup. It's one. That's two. And that'll be three. Sustenance is okay. No problem. He'll die next turn. Let's move to here. That seems reasonable. The Elder Seal is on here. I almost expected that it uh, that this could happen. Let's first of all use our towers. The squad side bonus for them unfortunately makes it very hard to hit anything on this uh, distance, but 30% is still better than nothing. Yeah, so that pack is severely injured. Uh, we're going to hunker it down here. Fast. 
Let's kill the Mac and call it quits from here. 66% is really not the best odds. If we wouldn't have hit, by the way, just in case you wonder why I've taken the shot, um, we would have had uh, an extraction from uh, from Renman. Which I think is pretty much what we're going to do, advanced team working. Yep, there we go. Check it before you get too close. Training ammo fast. Commander. All right, there are the reinforcements. Perfect uh, option for us to drop like in into the middle of uh, them. Quite literally to here. Okay, so we're a bit greedy, so we're going to take the loot. I guess that'll be okay. Superior conditioning is nice. That's actually pretty good loot. Next turn we can uh, move closer to the to the actual target hogbite here will simply overwatch Roby reloads and overwatches overwatch 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 and Overwatch. We're hunkering the rest down. So that should trigger three uh, Bladestorm attacks. Or if they only drop two, then it's just going to be two Bladestorm attacks. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to summon a ghost, but before we do that, we're actually going to do it with full um, with uh, our full uh, focus. So we're going to summon a ghost. Right. Focus is summoned. We know that there are mutants back here. So we're pulling the mutants and at the same time damaging our target. Nice little damage, by the way.
<laughs> he panicked from the rage suit, had no one to attack. That is interesting. Okay. Cool, cool. I like it. Uh, you know what I like even more? Effectively going to here and triggering two blade storm attacks for uh, the um, sectoids. It's gonna be fun. Let's move over here, reload, just get our, uh, our shit together. And this here is also a bit of a test because uh, the um, uh, the Templar Ghost has the same defense values as our Templar has, just way less hit points and so on. So let's see, he does not have any parry. Uh, I would be curious to see um, how long he's going to survive right there. By the way, just out of curiosity again. Yeah, why not? I mean, we can start taking shots at the enemies. Newton drop down. Overwatch. Target destroyed. Excellent work, Menace 1 5. Jen, what's our status? Whatever it was, destroying it. <laughs> We're already done with the mission. Can't believe it. This was easier than stealing candy from a little kid. Commander, we can take off on your order. You should get the squad on board and get moving. Yeah, we're not going to take 5% shots. Can't be bothered uh, to do that. 20% and above, and I'm okay with it. Holding position. Covering. All right, let's move back. Apparently the mission was successful. Oh, you know what? We still have the Icarus jump. <laughs> yeah. At high levels, uh, this game become, uh, begins to become a bit ridiculous. Let's give the Templar a bit of an aid protocol. Just for, for fun. Um, and let's heal the remaining two... We started with uh, we started with not full hit points on two of our soldiers because they were in the sick bay. All right, enemy turn. Let's go. Yep, so far they haven't even managed to hit. Okay, let's conclude none of uh, them dealt any damage and we essentially kill two of them just with blade storm that's it menace 1 5 be advised we've picked up hostile reinforcements inbound on your position all right we can barely make it into range a good decision By the way, just in, uh, out of interest, 
I mean, we could still very much battle uh, the um, the gatekeeper here. And we're even stunning it. Yeah, we're getting out of here, but we could have um, probably even taken down the gatekeeper. If it would have been Hotbite, I wouldn't be sure if he completely could 1v6 uh, all of uh, them, but uh, there would have been a chance for it. Commander, not all of our people are back on board yet. If we lift off now, we'll be leaving our troops behind. Excellent work, Commander. Looks like the Avenger lives to fight another day. Yeah. That was easier than expected, but uh, on the other hand, we now have all of uh, the overpowered abilities, so it's relatively straightforward. We killed, like, what, 30 enemies? I didn't even notice that. And imagine normally you're, uh, you're getting, like, 10 uh, soldiers for the uh, defense mission. Just imagine how strong it would be to have 10 of those guys. Probably could have even done it with two. Alright, in terms of armory... I am wondering, everyone here has personal combat up, uh, combat sims. It's clear the elders have used these portals to bring the yeah, even the newcomers. I'm just double checking because we just got a hit point upgrade and it seems, yep, everyone has uh, PCSs. Oh, wow. We do have a lot of PCSs. Plus 24 dodge for superior agility. That isn't bad. If you consider, we might even take that on Roby. If you think about it, it's it would be at almost 50% dodge. So Roby currently has uh, superior perception aim. I mean, we would lose some aim, but we would gain 25, uh, 25 dodge, which isn't bad either. Not sure yet. The aim is really good, just to make sure that he's always hitting. Okay, now that we no longer need to fear being shot uh, shut down. We can uh, continue getting some more intel. There we go. Finally, we got uh, the improved vector rifles for one extra damage. That's good. Edgar Alien Poe. Um, and Dragonover did this mission. Let's see what else we got as a new mission. Willpower, Superior PCS, Alien Loot and Aim, Engineer Mobility, a little bit of Aim, Speed of Weapon Research, we don't need that. Uh, this here would be Praetor Mox's um, successor for Aim, is the highest um, plus on Aim that you could get. Nine days, that's not bad. Uh, to get uh, get some more aim, but I think we're okay for now. Um, ability points might be helpful for us. Mobility is certainly appreciated. Um, health is also okay. Dodge plus eight is probably something that we want. Maybe you want to look into. Unfortunately, the guys that are supposed to do it, specifically Roby, wouldn't be available. We probably need 
I'm being realistic. We'll probably need a few more missions just to build up uh, Roby for the end fight. Um, giving him some more dodge. And then we should be fine. Let's wait until he gets back from the sick bay. There we go. Commander, the factions have readied proposals for various covert missions. We should head to the ring to plan our next stop. So, Roby solo um, solo clears this mission. We're going for some extra dodge. The other option would be the um, the extra aim, which I think isn't bad either. Um, and we we can get that in prior to the month uh, prior to month end. So the plus aim mission with a faction soldier is actually a pretty decent mission as well. This is a huge step. The extra hunter weapons, specifically the dark lance, is really really good. So, let's see if we can upgrade the weapon. No, it's automatically maximum level. Yeah, I almost forgot that. No, that's good. That's really good. Um, I don't think you'll find anyone on board this ship who feels the least bit sorry to hear the elders are dying off. If anything, so Edgar Alien Poe with that new weapon should be a monster. Like that's going to change a lot for him, giving him the Dark Lance, which uh, has the passive ability to only take one shot. Well, that's really, really good. And for uh, the Shadow Keeper, it's difficult. Like uh, this is one of the things where it's not a hundred percent clear. Um, Ten percent additional aim is nice. Uh, the Dark Claw. Um, ignores armor on the other hand so that's not bad either and has more damage uh, one additional damage so it's uh, even more than the uh, than the um, shadow keeper I think we're going to go with it because it's such a extraordinarily good weapon but uh, it it, it's kind of on the edge. He has enough uh, aim uh, by now with 120. That's plenty. Okay, let's shortly get um, the equipment of uh, everyone right because we had a bit of a slip up here. The plasma grenade certainly was not was not supposed to be in his inventory. He certainly should have had the mind shield. That's good. Um, Dragonover. It's a nice little shadow lance. I like it. Superior scope, superior expanded magazine. Uh, blue screen rounds. Yep, that's okay. Okay, so all of that is fine. Just wanted to make sure we're uh, we're good. In terms of training, <clears throat> I mentioned that we will probably need some more. Yeah, we only have four X uh, points. We probably need more um, X com points. To give Roby his last abilities. So maybe we're even going to do a covert ops mission for extra XCOM uh, for extra APs. These findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. Hello, Commander. All right, let's get the rest um, of the research done.
There we go. We got another eight Dutch. That's good. And I think he always uh, he already was a genius uh, level. So that's good. I like it. Um, in terms of reward, this faction soldier here looks pretty nice. I think that's a good reward. I think he is, he's also going to join us as a colonel. Uh, alternative would be the 19 ability points. I think we're going for the faction soldier, uh, putting Roby in here and uh, sending Hogbite with him, which reduces the overall time to 8 days instead of 9. I think even... No, it's uh, from 9 days to 8. That's good. I was for a second thinking it was 10 days, but no, it's 9 days, reduces it to 8. That's good. And yeah, off they go. For those of you who have been following uh, the entire run, Praetomox uh, gave his life in a heroic mission, probably one of the closest missions of the entire run. And that is another neutralizer target in an advent vehicle. Mm -hmm. that, that is, I think, a dark VIP mission. I think that's a dark VIP mission. Not 100% sure, but I am sure that we are going to do uh, this mission uh, with Renman and Zirkim, but that's going to happen in uh, the next episode. Let's take a short peek again. We're up against an Archon, a Trooper, a Heavy Mech, a Priest, Lancer, a Sectopod, and a Purifier. You know what? I mean, it could go either way. We could also neutralize it uh, with um, uh, the uh, Sniper and a Dragon Over. Um, but I think it's safer to uh, to just use Edgallion Pro and uh, Renven. Uh, Zirkim and Renven, sorry. Um, I'll think about it eventually. We're, we'll take one team or the other. Thank you so much for watching. We are um, on the last couple of missions. I'll, we'll just upgrade uh, Roby a little bit more for the last mission. Do we finish uh, the um, research and uh, then uh, we are going to go for the last uh, and final mission. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, uh, consider leaving a like. Uh, and or a comment uh, down below uh, both signals the YouTube uh, algorithm that you enjoyed the video and it'll promote the channel. Thank you so much and have a great evening. Bye bye.